Uh, your yeah. character, John Ingram, is very forgiving and he truly believes in second chances. What do you think really instilled this belief in him? I think that, um, well, what I did as the actor is I, I sort of made a kind of biography for myself, invented his life in a way. And, and um, I, I put him as a vet, as a, as a, as a, a veteran and um, in the myth from the military and that his education was in the military as well. And that, and that he had experienced uh, um, people that had PTS that was suffering from trauma. And clearly when, when Sandra's character comes to the, our house, to Viola in my house, it, she's, she's in a traumatic state. And, and I wanted him to, to just for acting purposes, I wanted him to be able to, recognize that in somebody so for me that's how he he knows that something's up he doesn't know what but he knows that something's up and and that and that and that that lets this kind of empathy that he has for her form and uh viola davis wonderfully plays your wife in the film uh and i was curious just because you know this was filmed during early covid protocols and face shields were in play was it more difficult to create bonds on set due to that, or how was that? Well, it sure is. It, it sure was. It, it was. Um, I was. I had. I worked all the way through the pandemic. Um, after once the studios, a couple of the studios like Disney, and Netflix, and and others behind them figured out how to um, to do it safely, and they they figured it out, and and it was safe, and. Um, it was, yeah, it was different for sure. You know, you, we only rehearsed with masks and shields. Um, early on, we weren't really sure how much touching we could actually do and, and um, how close we were allowed to be together. There were no vaccinations yet. There was no, you know, vaccination only zones. There was just uh, people that had been tested negative zones. And so it, it was tough. No, it was, it was very different than anybody had ever experienced before. And camera crews felt the same way, you know, and, um, you know, all the, all the whole crew of every movie and every television show that was out there was, was trying to figure out how to get it right. And it was, it was odd. It was odd for sure. But, you know, I was lucky to have Viola and she's a very experienced actress. I, I have a few years under my belt too. And so does Sandra. And, you know, we were able to figure out ways where we could talk about things and, connect in in other ways not only physical but in ways that we would be thinking and ways that we would construct the scenes so that they worked with an intimacy without ever really be becoming intimate you share some great scenes with sandra and she really shows another side of herself in this film can you speak to that transformation and just the commitment she had to that role she was totally committed. It's for sure. I mean, she came every day, very ready to go, and she was really informed, and uh, she knew where she was, you know, where she had come from, where she was going. I mean, she really, she's quite an actress. You know, it's very impressive to work with her, and, and you know, I, you know, prep is everything, and commitment is everything when it comes to servicing a story and doing what we do for a living, and yeah. She was heavy duty, man. She really knows what she's doing that way. And then my last question, obviously the ensemble cast had to be appealing, but what about the script really sold you on this and, you know, got you on board? I think it was because the script had substance. It was, you did experience, a, it was like a human experience when you were reading it. And, and I think that, with that kind of substance, and now on top of the fact that it was written in a kind of thriller-esque kind of way with a twist, I think the combination of those two things made it a good story. 